So having had a chance to look at the uh, assembly in the time lapse, um, there is a full speed one um, if you really want to be bothered watching for 20 minutes. So here is in situ. It's a fairly neat setup, a little bit fiddly to fit. So there's the supercharger in place. I've got 130 mil of uh, Dexron 3 H grade um, fluid in there. There's the manifold. Now, there is how tight it is under there, as I mentioned before. So you don't want to be having to go in and out of there too many times to try and undo it. That's why I made up the, uh, the tail, so the mini loom, to come out to here. So that'll be nice and neat. This was a bit fiddly uh, to fit. Um, took that bolt under there is a pain in the backside to get into place. Once you've got it there, it's actually dead easy. The other one that's a complete pain is that bolt hiding in there. It's got a very, very long thread. It goes all the way through the casing and it's uh, eighth of a turn, turn the spanner, eighth of a turn, turn the spanner. Trying to be as anal as possible, getting uh, all the, uh, the Jubilee clips lined up. I think I've done a neat enough job with that. Here's the other side. Here's where it gets interesting. So we've got the, um, the big ass carburetor bolted onto here. That casting is an M5 right hand thread casting into which I have put um, a ball joint. Um, you can just see it peeking all the way through. This is a control rod used for carburetors. I've got uh, a couple of kits of bits to, to make this up. M6 ball joint at the bottom. And what I decided uh, to do, this is a sleeve joint, so I can just lift that up. I have to loosen this off because it is taking strain. I can lift that off. Well, actually, no, I don't. That just pulls off like that and it unbolts at the top. And what that does is it just gives that a little bit more support for the carburetor on the, uh, the manifold so that over rough ground, all the tensions here don't change. So apart from the ignition and the exhaust, that is the engine pretty much ready to put back into the car. So happy days. Um, next bub date, the garage will be clear. It will be full of bub. The engine will be in. And uh, the final bit of fettling, the final run before I go for uh, a test drive. Thanks for watching.